Hey guys, Gamer of Gamers in the Zone. Not in the house. I want to try to go with a bit of a different intro just so I don't sound like a rapper. No, we're not looking at demonstrations now. Um, so we're continuing with our normal go at this game. So let's get right into it. Yeah, it's... It may not look like it, but it's been a bit of a while since I previously recorded games like these. Mainly because a lot of things have been on my mind. I just did a live stream the other day. As well as the fact that I am still very addicted to Breath of the Wild. Please, uh, let me know if you know any ways how to deal with that. Also, let me know if you want to see me try and play the game on Master Mode. Because I am pretty good at the game and think that Master Mode would be a pretty good challenge to me. So let me know in the comments if you want to see me try and play Master Mode of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And just see me probably completely rage out at me trying to beat it. So let's go and... So in the last episode, according to what you guys said... Um... There should be a bit of a patch I could download on how to be able to play the game on full screen. Um, however, I'm not going to download it. Uh, not going to download it because, according to what you guys said, um, the patch may affect my recording with OBS Studio. So that may be a bit of a risky move, and it's a risk I disappointingly do not wish to take. So I'm not doing that. Sorry, everyone, but. I'm just gonna have to play the game the harder way by playing it on windowed mode for the time being. Alright, here we go. Alright, time to take on the harsh Colts itself. Now, I noticed a few things in the last episode while I was in the middle of recording. And that is, one, some good places to unleash a bomb. Two, I noticed that it's a lot easier for me to pay attention on how to properly dodge if I like put my face very close to the screen and look directly at my guy at the hitbox so if I pay attention very carefully and closely to the point to where my eyes burn out that will help me to do good so there's a chance that it may damage my eyes but it'll be worth it if I can actually beat this if it actually works We'll see how we do. And once again, I have been getting some people recommending... And it may not directly the previous attempt, but... In other videos, I'm still getting people saying that I probably do good... Taking the game on in hard mode. And seeing how I can't play the game on full screen mode... We'll see about that. Because as you have seen... I'm having a bit of trouble getting the game on to full screen mode. And I don't want to risk ruining the recording by downloading a patch that may affect it, so I'm not taking my chances with that. Oh, jeez. Oh, I almost died, ran into a bullet there. Uh, come on, get the power! Oh, I'm just. Come on, I'm just one away. Yes! We go grab the power! Supernatural border! Let's go. Alright, aim at the place where there'll be the most targets. Is probably a good way to try and take this on. Like there! Except they still fire a massive wave of bullets. So I'm not fully sure if it even matters. But we are... Okay, don't... Uh, but... Okay, nope, nope, nope. If here's another major role I'm gonna have from now on. If we die even once on the first three stages, I'm gonna restart because that obviously means we're not gonna do very good. Even though we'll get our hands on quite a few lives, I'm gonna make that a rule that if I die even once, there's a high chance that I'm not gonna make it all the way to the end. I I'll only be okay if I died on the. Like, the for at least the fourth stage. If I die even once on any of the first three stages, it'll be obvious that I'm not going to make it all the way to the end. And I might as well just restart immediately, because there's no way I'm going to make it all the way to the end. 
that would at that point I'd just be simply wasting my time. But what is it about the second stage that seems to give me a lot of trouble is the question. There's something about the second stage mid-boss that I always seem to have a bit of trouble on and I don't know what it is. For some reason the mid-boss is harder yet I seem to have a perfectly okay time when it comes to taking on the actual boss of the second stage. It just makes no sense to me why I'm doing bad on certain parts of the stage and good on certain parts of the stage. It's just logic ain't adding up to me. Come on, get the big power. You know you like that power. Okay, let's go. Alright, luckily I can hold down control to skip any boring dialogue. If deemed boring. Come on. It can also be a bit rough to make precise dodges sometimes with the fact that Mauricia moves very fast for some reason. Like, she's the absolute swift one. Shouldn't need the supernatural border. I, I, I want to save my A game. I know it, the key now, but I don't want to burn out my eyes just yet. So I'm going to hold off on, you know, going into full focus mode, like with my eyes, until I get up to at least like around the fifth stage. Because I know it's the it starts. To get, it's when it starts to get around the fifth stage that. I really die a lot. So that's where I'm really going to want to whip out my A game. And really start to focus. Okay, come on. We can do this. I do plan on getting every single ending in this game. I ain't given up on that yet. I know we can do it. Come on. I am not sure if this is a very good idea, but... Ha! Okay, that was a risky move, but it was worth it, because I got into full power mode. I know that was a risky move, but it was worth it. Come on, guys, it was worth it. Oh! Okay, I'm making... I'm taking some large risks here. Like, I'm once again in that state where, like, I feel like I could take on anything. And then the game proves me wrong. You know, it's like I'm having hope at this point. And that is not a good thing. You do not want to have hope. Okay. I'll put in a bit of big focus mode here because I know I die a lot of, for some reason on this part. So deep... Okay, except maybe here. Here is a place where I'm decently good at and I may not need to directly pay attention to the screen. Oh, good. Supernatural border. Okay, come on. Come on, attack already. Oh, jeez, that... Again, I'm getting careless. I'm having hope. The moment you start having fun or having hope is the moment the game starts throwing absolute insanity upon you and starts to really make things harsh for you. So, don't let that happen. Don't let that happen to you. Don't let the game be harsh on you. No matter what, do not let the game be harsh on you. Okay. Here we go, we got the... Go farther and fair, what are you saying? What's your purpose here? No purpose to fall for four-legged things. Uh, that doesn't, uh, look like a... Fourth, uh, four-legged thing that looks like a normal person with uh, cat ears. Like a, a lot of things I've seen on the internet, there's a lot of two-legged things with cat ears on the internet. Like a lot of people know, because there are a lot of strange people on the internet sometimes that just make absolutely no sense. Alright, let's go. 
You may have bested me on my previous attempt, but you shall not un you shall not outsmart me this time. I let my guard down for a moment last time, but now I'm a bit more with an A game. And I'm gonna put in a bit more effort this time around. You'll see. You see, look at all these supernatural borders I'm getting on my, my hands on. That's giving me tons of bonus points to get my hands on some extra lives. Ha! 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 See, I know where you're going now, so... That! Might as well just not take a risk. And besides, there's a high chance that at some point I'm just gonna... Hey, come on. Come on. Yes! Okay, I know what you're gonna do. Just focus on dodging the bullets. Don't focus too much on hitting the boss. Even if it may take you longer to take him out, it's better to just aim, uh, focus towards dodging the bullets rather than directly taking on the boss. Otherwise, you're not gonna pay much attention to dodging bullets, and then you're gonna lose. Only problem is, since this is a directly forward attack, I'm not going to be able to directly see the boss, and since I'm playing on windowed mode, I'm not going to be able to see, like, the enemy writing on the bottom of the screen to know where my enemy is at. Come on. Ah! Yes! Take that! Bonus points away! Uh, oh boy! That was close. I'll admit that was close. I got a bit careless there. At least I'm making a bit of use out of my bombs. Because most of the time, I usually never use my bombs for anything. That can lead to a few things. Okay. It's time to focus a bit deeply. Okay, we got we got him. And we got an extra life. Let's go. Come on. How you doing? Alright, da alright. Sorry, I'm a bit focused here. When I'm focused, I can't take my eyes off the screen. Okay, okay, what's happening? Okay. All right, well, I'm in the middle of recording right now, so... I can't exactly go go to eat yet. I've got a uh, world to save, put an end to winter, and bring back spring. Spring's coming up. We are done with some winter. Time to take on Alice in Wonderland. That makes me wonder... Like, all of these, uh... Like, we go up against Alice three times in this one stage. So, why couldn't they have just made, like, a mid-boss, or make the opening boss, like, made something also a direct reference to Alice in Wonderland? Like, you go up against, like, White Rabbit, or, like, you know, like that absolutely stubborn card heart queen. Know what I'm saying, guys? They could have made some more references to Alice in Wonderland by doing that, except no, they took, uh, they just made you go up against Alice three times in one stage. Alright, let's go. Yeah, your fairies have nothing on me. You see that? They can't do a thing to me. Their, their firepower is nothing to me. I wish I could see the enemy writing on the bottom of the screen a lot better, but I can't because I'm playing on windowed mode. There we go. Risky move. Uh, you know, like what? It depends on what it comes down to. If you want to play the safe game or get some points to get some extra lives, it all comes down to how much you're willing to risk. And me, sometimes depending on how many extra lives I want, 
I can sometimes want to take some pretty good risks. Okay, this is where I may want to start putting my guard up. Oh, I was out of bombs. I was starting to prepare a bomb and... Okay. So I knew then and there that I ran out of bombs, which is why I got hit there. I will... I'll, I'll continue to go forward since I could understand dying there because I at least was able to use all of my bombs. And that I like. I like how I was at least able to put some good use out of my bombs. I probably should have used that supernatural border to erase all the bullets, but oh well. It gives me some bonus points to get an extra life anyway. Alright, let's go. Next stage. This is where it gets serious, everyone. It's been fun in games before, but now this is the point where I'm going to... Well, maybe it's still a slight bit of fun in games, but mostly I should really pay attention. We got an extra life. I'm cool with that. Just gotta pay close attention. Ah! Oh, that was close. Oh, all right. No insane risks. Don't take any insane risks. Oh. Okay, come on, come here. Take them out before they their bullets get to you. That's the key. Oh, got scared. I probably would have made it through it alive, but I got scared. Okay. Can you blame me that I got scared? Okay. Okay. Yeah. That that's fine. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. I just ah! Oh, it's like Galaga. <laughs> okay. All right. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Oh! Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Don't, you don't need to do this. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. We're out of... Oh, well, we got an extra life at least. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Alright, let's go mid-boss time. Time for a mid-boss. Okay, I am in it. I'm, I'm whipping out my A-game a little earlier than expected. I'm going into A-game mode. A bit earlier than I expected, I know, but... I just feel like whipping out A-game mode. I ran out of bombs again and didn't notice it. Wasn't paying much attention to that. Oh. Okay, that was actually my fault. I'll take the L on that one. What do I do? Oh! No! Uh... Okay, what happened that I'm starting to do bad on this stage? Am I moving around too much? I think I may be moving around a bit too much is the problem. Looks, well, not on this part, but y you guys know what I mean. I'm starting to do bad. Now I'm looking pretty bad that I'm doing bad. So I should not be doing bad. I should be doing good. Instead of messing up the way I am. Okay. What's the next one? Next one, next one. There we go, there we go, there we go. One more wave. I know there's one more wave before uh, the f an extremely powerful enemy starts to show up, in which I think I'm going to make the safe move of wiping out all the bullets on screen. Come on. How many? No! Why? You know what? You know what? 
I think I'm going to call this episode short because, one, you can clearly tell we're doing bad. Two, dinner is ready. I should really go and have dinner before it gets cold. Sorry to disappoint you guys that I didn't even make it to the fifth stage. I know I could still keep going, but it's starting to get fairly obvious at this point that we're not going to get that far. Sorry guys, but I'm putting it into it. I gotta go have dinner. Thanks for watching, everyone. This is the Gamer of Gamers, and I am out of here.